Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. What's up, every day, everybody, and uh, welcome to Unboxing Day with Billy Tucci. So today we got a very special book from a pal of mine, someone one of the first people I ever met in comics who treated me like a real pro and treated me with respect. Um, my boy, Adam Post. Uh, I've been friends with Adam for a long time. I'm so glad that we reconnected back and he's back in comics. And um, I always back Adam on his campaigns. And I was very, very happy to back this particular one here. Uh, this book was shipped. It was, uh, it's, I know what it is. It's College of the Dead. So um, College of the Dead was, and it says, you know, shipping in June of 20, uh, 20, 2020, and uh, this bad boy did ship on the 15th, whoop, let's give that camera, 15th of June, there it is, 15th of June, 2020, again, ship media mail, perfect, media mail's fine, look at this, look at the damage that, that happens when it, you ship things through the U.S. Postal Service. But uh, it's in a nice Gemini mailer, and uh, let's see if it's okay. Again, media mail is the way to go, guys. I've gotten packages first class. I've gotten packages sent media mail. I don't mind waiting a couple of days. I don't live in Hawaii or you know Guam or something like that where uh, it takes so much longer for you to get it uh, of the U.S. territories. And uh, you know, even if you charge shipping. Go with media mail because uh, it's it's the most economical way to ship. You'll still get things. I've shipped things out media mail. I know, like Adam lives not far from me, so I think I got this in a day. Because um, we're you know he's maybe he Adam maybe lives 30, 40 miles away, maybe 40, 45 miles away from me, and I got it the next day, even though he sh he shipped it media mail. So um, that's the way to go. Go U.S. media mail and uh, use the stamps.com. Get this nice little shipping label comes with it. Easy peasy. And let's go. So let's turn it around. Cut it again. Got the trusty, uh, can't find my power trooper knife, my Italian army knife. So I got my handy dandy Swiss army knife. So let's cut that. Remember, always cut away from you, cells, everybody. And it's a good way to use your other hand. I'm predominantly left handed. But if I have to cut away from myself, I got to use my right hand. So. Now, I supported this campaign twice, so I've read the book, so it's a really good story, uh, but I didn't unbox it. So I'm glad I, uh, that I, I backed it twice, because then my second unboxing video, now I can unbox it. And, uh, yep, there you go. Oh, another nice little touch. Not only did he ship it in a, in a, in a, in a uh, Gemini mailer, the expandable. Again, you can go up to an inch. It's actually over an inch. It's actually bigger than an inch. Um, and uh, But if you have, say, a 48-page book, if you could see 48-page this is 48 pages, and if you do 64, you could probably get 64 pages, page book, uh, in this first tier here. If you, and then, of course, you can expand it even more, that it's giving yourself maybe an inch and a half, it looks like. It's definitely bigger than an inch. So, uh, and I like this nice little touch, Adam. Thank you very much for adding that piece of tape here. Keep it all super safe. Again, you can look at the damage that comes from the U.S. Postal Service. Um, as I was saying, uh, I've gotten campaigns... Uh, uh, notably Brian Polito, who sends his things two day priority <laughs> animal that he is, uh, but also first class. And you still get the same damage from the U.S. Postal Service. And thank goodness for these Gemini mailers. So let's cut that. Now let's put that away. Right. Safety first. College of the Dead graduation day. Boom, boom, boom. All right, Adam, let's put this on the side here. Let's just put this over here. Now, I remember Adam was telling me that he first did this book as a, uh, as a, a, a it's a webcomic, I believe. So it has a different type of format, but let's open it up. Uh, Self-sealing. Again, Adam took the, the, oh, there's two. Look at that. Got the variant cover as well. Very nice. That's a great cover. That's a great cover. This poor girl. What a, what a waste, huh? So, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll open them both up. Again, Adam took the extra time to to use the self sealing bags, which are great. Shows uh, that you know. Personally, what I would have done is because we did it on She Return of the Warriors that we spent so much time peeling that tape off, and then it gets stuck on you. And I know I talk about it all the time. I got a, a strip somewhere, um, 
but it's a nice resealable bag. What, what we're going to be doing going forward is put a nice piece of scotch tape here and not seal it. So after someone gets it and they then, and they then want to read it, then they can peel the tape off themselves and self seal the bag. So, let's open that. Okay. Nice. It's like a silver age bag. Nice big bag. Yeah, this is a big, this is a big book. All righty then. Let's put this here. So here's our two College of the Dead books. Boom. And this campaign did great for Adam. It was, uh, I believe it was an exclusive on Indiegogo. Uh, Adam had done, when he finished this book, again, the campaign ended. This is how fast he got this book out. Uh, the campaign ended on May 7th, 2020. Um, and then in demand, that he was in demand for, oh, geez, a month or so. And he acquired almost another $10,000 just being in demand. So that shows you the power of Indiegogo's in-demand stores. And um, it's, let me see, this is comic size. No, nope, it's actually bigger. If you look at it, so here's our She Return of the Warrior Amanda Connor edition. And this is bigger than comic size. So it's, uh, it's actually wider. It's not as long. Um, again, I think Adam did this because of the format. Was It was a web comic initially. So you can see that it's not as, as long as a comic, um, but it's wider. Let's see if this one is the same. Yep, both of them are like that. So if I get my little ruler here, there's my ruler. The books measure, we're looking at, look, the other side. You're looking at seven by 10. So it's seven by 10. So it's, yeah, it's a little slightly, slightly different than your standard comic book side. Beautiful, heavy, glossy covers. Real nice, Adam. Full color. So we have our, you know, book two graduation day. Let's see what this one is. Book two graduation. Okay, so this is the variant. Okay. So, um, and usually when I buy things, I just buy the first thing I see. Um, just because I want to help my, my friends out. So, uh, not help my friends out. I buy the books because I like them. Uh, just because I just, I'm always behind. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got I to gotta pledge for this. And I just scroll through and the first book I see, I buy. Um, but Adam is a friend of mine and he's a valued, great friend. So, okay. So here we go. Beautiful opening. Love it, Adam. Great job with these poor kids. Zombified. Um, nice. He's got his little movie poster type of thing there. It's R restricted. Um, and it's written by, uh, Stefan Petrucci, uh, Petrucci, and it's illustrated by Javier Aranda. Javier Aranda. So, uh, okay, got a nice little opening thing here, a little, basically giving you a little cover gallery, uh, giving you a little basics, excellent, nice setup to talk about. This is book two of College of the Dead. I have to have book one. Book one is the Ashcan edition. You have your graduation Ashcan edition. All these cool things on, on that go with Adam Post right now. And uh, let's look. That's a great illustration. Uh, again, I read this, so I love the story. I think it's really terrific. Um, if it was me, though, one of the things that we've had this conversation and Adam – I think it's agreed is that this format, and I understand why he did it. He did it because it was originally a uh, web comic, so he need, he had a different format. But I am not a fan of the big all the negative space. If you look at a she comic, and this is again just my opinion, I like to go full bore. You know, I I like to add as much as the paper as possible, full bleeds if possible. Um, that's what I like to do. I like as little as negative space as possible. And, um, you know, of course, free things up and all, but I like to go, go, all, you know, go, all, go all out, man, cover, you know, you're paying for this paper, whether it's ink on it or not, and go for it and just fill up that pay, that book. So, um, but it's a great story. And, and again, it's like a, it's like a comic strip. And I appreciate that. What I would have done personally, if, if to keep this, he probably could have had it on eight page, eight panel pages. Um, you know, eight panels per page or like what he's doing now, because we had this conversation and he's now doing with uh, his new book that's currently live and the, and the description will be in the link is uh, Mermaids, the comic book and Mermaids is beautiful looking comic book. And uh, but with Mermaids, he's going full bleed with it. He's doing uh, panel. So he's exchanged up his panel side board. You know, he'll have like three panels per page. And uh, I just think it's a far more, um, uh, more uh, a, a far greater aesthetic look. Again, I, I get what he was doing. Personally, I'm not a fan of this. And I am glad he's doing that because uh, 
I don't know if I would have bought the second one, to be honest with you, because I just don't like this. I find it really distracting. And uh, maybe if you're going to do something like this, the book should have been a lot smaller. But my thing out there is, guys, when you're going to do guys and gals, you're going to do a comic book, uh, make it a comic book size, uh, because then retailers can buy your book. or You can get into comic shops and you want it on the shelves with the comics for people to get it. But I mean, the art is gorgeous. Javier's art is gorgeous. Stefan uh, wrote a great script, brutal, brutal story. A um, lot of fun, a lot of action. Again, like see these great panels like this when they're just going through the zombies and all smashing. Look at this, running this zombie right through, right through her head with the guitar. Boom, I would have made that big. Uh, and I would have done what he's doing. I, like for a page like this, I probably would have made this a three tops, four panel page. Kept this one small expanded one of the others blood splatter all the way through on the, on the zombie pages, you know, when, when the, when the battles are taking place. But uh, again, great, great story, fun story. Um, art is terrific. And uh, it's, he did a great job. Oh, this poor guy. Look at, look at that. Ooh, come on. How cool is that? Look at that. Um, I think that, and again, the, 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 the again, real thick. It's got to be a 10 point, might be thicker than a 10, might be a 16 point glossy cover. Uh, this is the variant. She's hot, but I think she's doomed. Uh, oh, yeah, she's doomed. Uh, but uh, again, terrific book. Um, 48 pages. It might be more than 40. No, I think it's 48 pages. Uh, but again, what I would do, um, I would not have this, this storytelling layout. Uh, and I've told Adam that. So it's no secret. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, did it pop or not? That is a, that's a question because a, the story definitely popped. The art definitely popped. Um, but the, but this, this layout did not pop for me. I'm hoping for him to do a nice college of the dead collected edition. And then he can go in with a graphic designer and make this page three pages. You know, what a cool thing this would be. You know what I mean? Nice, big, big ass panel right there, you know, uh, of this poor guy who's dead and gone. So, um, great job, Adam. Overall, the storytelling's great. The, the production values are top notch. What I just can't get over is this, this, all this negative space. It just doesn't fit on the page. It, I know it was a design decision by you, but I think that when someone looks at it, it might look like a mistake. So, um, that's that. So, uh, did it pop? Let's give it a let's get a pop and a not. How's that? Because again, the story popped for sure. How's that? <laughs> the story popped for sure. The artwork is terrific. Uh, I just found this storytelling, the this layout, the production layout of it is just too distracting, and I find I think it's a shame. But uh, as we said, Adam has now he's gone full bleed with mermaids. Uh, it looks astonishing. Um, please check it out on Indiegogo. It's live right now. It's in demand and, um, it's doing well. He's, he's over, uh, he's over $11,000. He's got uh, 195 backers, but you'll see that from college of the dead, the graduation day comic, this book, he did $34,000 and he had 561 backers. So he's behind on it. And I think what might've had something to do with that is not the story. It's not the art. It's this layout. I just think that, um, and when he when he announced Mermaids, it had the same sort of layout. And I just think that that's something that people, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it works. But uh, but if you like zombie stories, this is a great one to read. And the panel, the, 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 the panel layouts and all this negative space doesn't buy you, check it out. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.